Okay, so this is a modulation page. There are 20 available mod slots here. You can select a mod slot simply by clicking into this, uh, this table here. So what I'm going to do is set source 1 by clicking into this window here to after touch. And you'll notice the, um, the status bar appear here. So when I apply after touch, it'll register. Now I'm going to set the destination to virtual sync depth for oscillator 2. I'm going to bring up the depth here. You should hear it register now. So obviously you can set up this exactly how you want it. I'm going to set up another after touch. Um, this time I'm going to set it to filter distortion. So I filter to distortion amount, adjust the depth a bit there. So you should hear both effects when I apply after touch. Now in source one, I'm going to set up keyboard and I'm going to set this destination to an effect. So I'm going to go to effects, the effects menu here. And adjust the master level for slot one. So now if we go to the effects page in slot one, I'm going to set this to uh, be a reverb. You notice that once I've used the reverb here and I go into slot two, I can't use the same reverb. But there are two effects um, available for uh, compression, distortion, delay, reverb and chorus. Um, so now that's set up, I'm going to bring the amount down to zero. Go back to my modulation page, bring up the depth here. So the keyboard setting here works at the lower down the register that you play the notes on the keyboard, the effect uh, doesn't get triggered, but the higher up the register, the effect does get triggered. So you'll notice there's no reverb here, but in the higher notes, you can hear the reverb applied. This just allows higher notes to shine through and the lower notes to um, you know rumble through like a solid bass patch. Okay, so now I'm going to set up a touch assignment with the um, with the conductive rubber rotaries that um, are on the actual hardware itself. In source one, I'm going to set up an LFO, unipolar LFO. I'm going to click into this window here. Again, there are a number of different choices here, and I'm going to select minus seventh chord and in the destination, I'm going to set this to 123 pitch, and you can adjust this depth as you wish. Um, so that's the effect. Now, when I click on touch one, that effect will only be triggered when I press touch one on the actual keyboard itself. You've got to make sure that the animate button touch is pressed on the hardware itself. So you'll hear the patch. And then when I press touch one, So now I'm going to set up the same effect for touch two and reverse the depth here. Click on touch two. So you've got touch one and touch two. So that's the basics of the modulation page.